What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of My Something Random. So it's Tool Shop Tuesday again, and I've got a really exciting new series. It's gonna be a series of videos for you, so stick around to check that out. But first, hit that like and subscribe button. So the series that we're gonna get started on is called Wixifying Your Shop. And this is just a word that I made up. What is Wixify? Well, have you ever heard of Wixy? Wixy Digital Angle Gauges. They make them for a number of tools. This one here is a little table saw angle gauge. You can use it for lots of different things. It magnetizes, so you just stick it on your table saw blade. And as you tilt it, it gives you your angle. Well, Wixy has come up with a number of ones for different machines, whether it be your planer, uh, whether it be your drum sander, drill press, table saw, um, and a couple of other things. So today is gonna to be the first in a series of videos where we are gonna put a Wixie depth gauge on our drill press today. So this is the angle gauge that we're gonna be putting on our drill press today. I picked this up at Woodcraft. Uh, currently it's going for $49.99. Um, you can also get this off Amazon, but I choose to support my local business at Woodcraft. So we're going to get this mounted on the Rikon drill press. Hopefully we don't have any problems or things to run into, but it's pretty basic and straightforward. And then it will, once it's mounted, give us an accurate depth of where we're drilling. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up our package to see what we've got in the box. So this would be the angle gauge and it registers off of this track here. That's nice, they've got a battery included. This would be our mounting hardware. And so in the case of our drill press here, this is going to fit around the collet of our drill press. And some different brackets. So let's take this over to the drill press and see what we're gonna need. Um, just as a side note, they provide a drill bit and some screws, so if you have to drill some holes, they've got everything you need here. And the first thing you're probably going to want to do is get this guy out. In my case, my drill press, it is going to fit right around this collet here. But first, we have to undo it all the way because it is going to fit through this bracket here and essentially be mounted like that with the bracket and so then it can grab hold of that and be able to move up and down. So the next thing is choosing your brackets. You've got three different ones. I've got another one in my hand. And using a 10 millimeter wrench, unscrew the back bolts of this. And this is going to mount to the rear and this is gonna give your distance to the side. In my case, this is gonna line up here, and so I'm gonna to have to drill two small little holes right here, so let's get that done. So next, using a seven millimeter. Carefully screw this in and then back it out, just so you don't risk stripping it. And it kind of starts the threads for you. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach the back of this with our provided washer and nut. So now, 
we are going to use the provided bushings in the thing. So this will go on the outside. This guy will sandwich in between. We use the M4 screw. And we'll drop that down first just enough so we can line that up. And I have not tightened the thing around the drill press collar yet. Then you'll have one more little washer which will go on the back and another little nut. And now we'll snug that down and now we'll go ahead and tighten up everything. Before we tighten everything, we did this right. This should move freely up and down. So now we're gonna install the batteries, see if we did this right. We'll pull up on our battery tray and this is the battery and you wanna face it with the numbers going in. And if we did everything right, this should turn on and immediately it goes to zero. Now, to change it from millimeters to inches to fractions, you're gonna push this button here. And in this case, it's gonna read inches as well as fractions when you hit a fraction. So 0.498. I don't think I can get it right. Yeah, there we go. So if I want to zero it out at a different depth, or if my zero doesn't return to zero like I want it to. Touch my drill, brisk, drill bit to whatever I want it to, and I need to have this on ABS. You're gonna see ABS and INC. Uh, you wanna make sure you have it on ABS, hit the zero button, pull it for a couple seconds, and it immediately goes to zero, and then you can continue drilling. If I want to go back to absolute zero, I can hit INC and that returns me to absolute zero. This absolute zero, you cannot change the zero. Now on the ABS, you can. And if I want to change that back to zero, just hold it for a few seconds and it goes back to zero. All right guys, so it's finished. The Wixi angle gauge on the drill press. Really looking forward to getting some use out of this. You saw how easy it was to set up. So go check out Woodcraft, pick up a couple for yourself. Um, they make them for all different tools. And this is the first in our series, remember. So the next one we're gonna do is the Wixi angle gauge for the drum sander. And we're gonna try and do as many tools in the shop as we can. So stick around for the series. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.